Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I know I mentioned back this summer about going ahead and doing a body swap on my brown and tan 79 to my little yellow and red one. Well, it's February 15th and we're finally starting it. Uh, we went ahead and took all the bed bolts out and we're gonna see if we can try to pull the bed, just me and dad with our old Ford 4000. So we'll see how it works. I know that everybody and their brother is going to the farm show this weekend and I, I think I'm probably going to go to me and one of my buddies. Let me know in the comments if y'all would like to see a video of the farm show, but I know everybody and their brother is going and taking videos, but just let me know if you guys would like to see one. Anyways, let's get to the show. Now this thing needs a bath horribly, but it's just kind of been one of those deals where we just kind of use it. It's been probably two months, maybe, since it's been started, so hopefully it starts up. For the money we have in this thing, it'd be really hard to find it somewhere else. It's been a real good tractor. It needs, a, needs a little work. It needs a radiator. We're gonna try to maybe find one and put in it. So, like I said, just needs a little TLC. So to go ahead and take off one of these beds, you gotta make sure you take every one of the bed bolts out. If you look over there, the floor was just gone. So what they done is they welded nuts on the bottom of the frame and they just shoved regular bolt head uh, bolts down in there. Uh, but now if it was correct, you would just need the carriage bolts that have the square head onto the bottom. Make sure you stand on it or hold it down. Make sure that it stays in that square. Another thing you gotta do is take tail lights out and drag all your wiring through. There's a ground wire that's screwed on and the rest is for the brake light, tail light, and parking light. So you gotta make sure those are pulled down and out of the bed. And lastly, you gotta make sure your fuel neck is pulled out. Fuel neck's held on by your fuel door bolts and some little rubber stoppers here. You take your fuel door bolts out, pull a fuel door and push them stoppers out and the fuel neck should just come straight down. One of the problems we had is that they just went ahead and welded the bolt upside down right here. And when we start lifting it, it's going to get hung on that bolt. So we're going to see if we can find a bar and kind of try to pull it.
Okay, so as you can tell by some of those clips, we're not professionals. Number one, the bed is shot. Knew it was. All the supports was rusty. That's why I was probably really wanting to bend. Having the tailgate up would have helped a lot. Number two, whenever we put the good bed on, it will be put on by three or four guys, not track. So this is what it looks like underneath. First time that I've ever seen the bed pulled off. You can see it's got a little kind of eat up places and some of the uh, frame rails that go across. Uh, this shock tower is pretty good. That one will have to be cut out and replaced. Uh, someone's put like a 90 style fuel tank in it. I don't know if I really want to keep it or not. It may end up just putting me a good tank back there. I've got to put my b and I got a 15,000 pound receiver hitch, but I don't know if the frame will take it. That'd be the next thing. But next step is going ahead and pressure washing everything, stripping everything down that we can and replacing. But it's pretty odd seeing something that you've seen for 10 years of your life and then it looked totally different. So. so I hope you all are going to enjoy this. It'll be really strung out in different segments. It's untelling really how long this project will take, but it's something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. So don't rag on us too much in the comments from our unprofessionalism. We just like to get stuff done. If y'all enjoy the video, please like and subscribe.